Yeah, it looks like a good potential to see a comet, I think, this week, and especially as we head toward much of next week as well. And this is Comet Tish. I'm not going to try to pronounce that name right there. I'm going to butcher it. So Comet C2023A3. That's a little easier to say, don't you think? Once in a lifetime event, it's orbit around the Earth. It's only about once every 80,000 years. So you're not going to see it ever again if you don't get a chance to see it now. It has the potential to be pretty bright. Do you remember Comet Neowise from back in July of 2020? Lit up the night sky probably for about two or three weeks during that period. It has the potential to maybe be as bright as that. Maybe a little bit brighter if things set up correctly. And it'll be an evening event as well. Neowise, if you remember back then, was an early morning event. Best time to see it, 3 or 4 in the morning. This will be right after sunset, best time to see this. So you don't have to stay up later, get up early if you're to keep nor normal hours. Not like us here at the weather service, we're around the clock. And anyway, how do you view this? Go to a dark place away from light pollution. That's just Wyoming, shouldn't be too hard to do that. Now you want to look to the west-southwest, close to the horizon during the evening hours. Now the comet makes its closest approach to the Earth on October 12th. That's 44 million miles. A little less than half the distance between the sun and the earth. It could be difficult to see on that day, though, since it will be occurring pretty close to sunset. It should be below the horizon about 40 minutes after sunset, so unless you have specialized equipment, it will be hard to see. Now, the good news is it will be getting higher in the sky and setting later each night by about 15 or 20 minutes each night. Plus, we're losing about 2 or 3 minutes of uh, sunlight each time there, though, so it should be getting kind of a little bit easier to see between about October 13th and about October 19th. We'll get a little bit further away each of those days, but if things set up right, you should still be able to see it with the naked eye before it really fades away and heads back toward deep space as we head toward the latter portion of the month. Now, to see it, could be visible with the naked eye if you let your eyes adjust, but the best way to view comets, obviously, binoculars, you have a spotting scope that might work, but the best way to view it, a telescope. Happy stargazing, everyone.